This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to look at the untrim and the remove edge command. If you'd like to follow along, please go into your working directory and under chapter seven, choose the untrim remove edge file. Once the file opens, you see we have a complex surface that's been split in various ways and has had several holes punched right through it. And what the untrim command does is it allows you to almost walk backwards in time and remove the splits that you may have made to a particular surface. This is very handy as you're working downstream in a particular project. A lot of times your project will come back and then need to be revisions to it. Let's say maybe somebody doesn't like the button shape or the button location you've put into an object and you need to heal the surface again before you can go ahead and cut a new buttonhole or whatever the split may be that you need to add an object in your revision. So the untrim command lets you get rid of any of your previous splits and to go ahead and add new splits into a surface. The untrim command is available in two locations. It's under the surface menu, under surface edit tools, and then untrim. Or if you prefer to work on the toolbar, it's under the surface menu, and it's this icon right here. So we'll click on that. And you can see it's asking us for an edge to untrim. And we'll just go ahead and do a few cleanups here. So I can click right on that edge, right on that. You can see these just disappearing as soon as I click on them. And this surface has been cut away from too. So we can click on these outer surfaces. You can see it'll add these back in. And when it adds them in, notice it's adding in until there's an end point. So if I undo this one, you can see there's a hard end point here and here. So as I click on it, it adds that in, but it doesn't fill in this area here. As I click on that one, it'll add that in. Anytime I'm in this command, I can do control Z's to walk backwards through the command. And if you notice the command line, I'm still in the command. And the reason I might want to do that is a lot of times you might want a record of what you've just removed. So if I want to get rid of this hole, but I need to make another hole in there based on that hole size, it just needs to be a different location. I can click on keep trim objects equals yes. And now when I click on that one or this one, or even these outer ones, you can see this line is here. You go ahead and hit enter to apply the command. And what this line is, is actually a curve based on that hole you just cut. So I can take that and let's say I go into my top view. Now I can move this. Maybe I scale it down. I can go back into perspective. And I can split again using these shapes. And I can throw away those windows. You're still seeing a little bit of that curve there. So let me get rid of that. And that one. So we've untrimmed the splits and we left the curve that created them, moved those curves around and created new splits with those curves. So we have these input curves, which were where we trimmed last time. I can grab that curve turn on the control points. As you can see, there's a lot of control points here. So I'll rebuild that curve. We'll go ahead and rebuild it. Turn on the points. And see, we just want to make that a little larger. So now I've modified that curve. I can select the surface. Grab that curve again and split out the surface using the revised curve. And I can take that, split using that. And now we've got a revised design using the initial input surfaces so we didn't have to rebuild all the surfaces to get ourselves back to be able to do a revision. There's another command named remove edge that also undoes the trim, but it does it in a little different way. And you can find this command under surface, edge tools, Remove edge, or if you prefer to work from the toolbar, it's this icon right here, remove surface edge. When I apply the command, the command line is asking me to choose the surface edge to delete. So it's whatever edge I want to get rid of. 
So let's say I wanted to get rid of this edge here. And there's a couple different options here. The first one we'll look at is the mode equals extend side edges. So the surface edges to delete, we want to delete this edge here. When I click on it and hit enter, it removes it. And it looks very similar to the other edge command. And why that is, is the extend side edges command is actually extending this edge out until it intersects with this edge. And where they connect is where it's going to join the edges together. So if I choose this one, that one doesn't work because those edges are parallel and would naturally never touch. If I choose this one, these edges would come together and would touch so you can use it. The other option is for replace with line command. So if you use that one, you still select the same area to get rid of, but this time what it's going to do is it's going to extend the surface, but only until it creates a line between whatever endpoints you have, which means this surface will fill itself in, but there'll be a straight line connecting these two points. Let me just click on that, hit enter. So now you can see the surface is extended, but this time it didn't go all the way back out to here. It went just as far as those edge extensions were. Let me apply that command again to this edge here. But instead of coming out and forming a 90 degree edge here, the surface edge will replace itself with a direct line between these points here. And as we apply that again to this edge, this time this command should work, but this time it will actually trim the surface back to an edge that's a straight line between these points. And you can see that's exactly what it does. So between those two commands, the untrim and the remove edge, you have two very powerful commands for any sort of editing or redesigns you may need to do on a project. Untrim especially is incredibly powerful and it will save you tons of time not having to rebuild surfaces when you have a revision on a design. And that concludes our look at the untrim and the remove edge commands.